the effects of financing risk on the value of firm and profitability, evidence from Nigerian commercial banks. This article is written by four authors. First author Oliralu Asi Ebenezer. Second author M.D. Aminul Islam. Third author Matsukai Matjuna. Last author Wansa Yusuf. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study is one of few that offers new insights on the nexus between financing risk, profitability and firm value which provides some valuable evidence for policymakers, academics, and other stakeholders. This study is designed to address the critical issues of financing risk in the banking industry. The data from 16 selected commercial banks audited financial reports from 2009 to 2015 was used, making up to 112 observations. The panel data approach was used in the study for the analytical models. The market-based and accounting-based measure was used to proxy firm performance while financing risk was proxied by the short-term debt, long-term debt and total debt ratio. The controlled variables used in this study included bank size and the GDP growth rate. Based on the random effect analysis in the models, the TD ratio and GDP had a negative significant effect on firm value, suggesting that improvement in the TD and GDP would increase firm value. The limited ratio had a positive significant effect on firm value. The STD limited and TDE all impacted negatively on the bank's return on assets. This suggested that a decrease in STD, limited and TDE would lead to an increase in bank's return on asset. The STD, limited and GDP had a negative and significant effect on the bank's net interest margin. The firm size had no impact on either the firm value or profitability measure used in the study. It was observed that the GDP played an important role in the performance of the commercial banks in the study. Hence, this paper suggests that further study can explore the effects of firm characteristics on firm value by exploring non-financial firms and or a cross-country study. Thanks for watching this video of Asian Economic and Financial Review Volume 9 Issue Number 7.